While we've been having fun hauling in all sorts of fish offshore from Darwin. Another gold spot, Trevally. Great day at Knox. There's also some serious work going on here. The NT Fisheries Department is working with the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation and other government bodies to learn more about the black jewfish. Black jewies are important to commercial, recreational and indigenous anglers here in the top end, not to mention the charter industry. But in Australia and around the world, they're susceptible to overfishing because they stay around their aggregation site. The fisheries team are looking for ways to preserve this mighty species. So Mick, tell us about the studies you've been doing on the black jewfish. Well, actually, we've been doing a whole series of different studies. We've been everything from the age and reproduction, through a bit of acoustic tagging, to try and work out their movement patterns. And uh, of course a study on the effects of barotrauma so we can develop up some, some advice for the release of these big fish. As we've seen, this powerful fish is notorious for its low survival rate if caught from depths of more than 10 metres. The release tips we showed you earlier in the show will hopefully help fishers improve those odds. Another way, Andrew, that we're looking at the uh, survival rate of the jewfish is placing them in the cage and rolling them back down to their depth. And we've got a monitor down the boat there so okay. we can actually view these fish over a period of time. And when we're ready, we can just release the fish from the store here. Perfect. They've also attached acoustic tags to black jewfish via a small incision. And when the fish pass these receiving monitors, the scientists track their movements and regular hangouts. Over 50 receiver stations are moored between Darwin, Bathurst Island and the Perrin Islands, constantly relaying feedback. This habitat mapping program will help ensure the territory's fishery stays healthy and sustainable. All up, the study will take two years. And I reckon anything that keeps these northern waters brimming with species like the black dewy has to be worth its weight in gold. To find out more about this incredible research, go to the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation website or the Northern Territory Fisheries site.